All right, if you know anything about me, you know that I like to do things that make my life easier. And I like to improve the quality of my life. And these two things sometimes clash. For example, I'd like to grow some plants, some food, some things for my family. But the fact that I have to come out here two or three times a day to water these types of plants, these fabric pots, they really have a lot of airflow, which is great for any type of air pruning on the roots. It's terrible for the fact that you have to water these constantly. So how do I solve this? I came across this product. It's uh, by Blumat. It's a large version of what they have. It's a terracotta spike that goes in the ground. Water goes inside and the water actually penetrates the terracotta and soaks into the soil. But it doesn't do that just on a amount of water inside versus outside. It literally is going to use the water that's in the soil to determine when it needs to pull that water out of the inside of this item. So let's open it up, plug it into the ground and see how this works for us. Very simple. You take this, you let it soak in the, the water for about 15 minutes so it really absorbs it throughout the entire area. Then you fill it up, you put the entire tube down in the water as well. And once everything is in there and filled up, cap on, you leave that in the water and you pull your spike out of the water and you put it into the dirt. So let's give that a go. So I let the terracotta soak in the water for about 15 minutes just to let it really saturate and soak through there. I'm just going to fill it up with water and then I'm going to put the cap for that on it while it's in the water. So the hose is all full of water, the cap is full of water and here we go. Put the terracotta in, put the cap on and it just presses on. There we go. Now I just take that, press it down in, right up to the lid there you go. That's all it takes. Do that for each of the other ones that I have. Very simple. Here it is. Take that. Press it down in. Dirt off my finger so it doesn't go back in the water. There's a question. Will one be enough for this size of bag for this size of pot probably not other people i'm reading are doing three in one of these pots i am trying this if that makes sense so that is a good question to have and one of these i'm stretching quite a ways over here so part of the question also that you'll want to be aware of and think about is uh what type of soil and dirt are you putting this into? Does it retain moisture well? Does it need constant moisture? So for example, these ones right here are a mix of uh, homemade compost and dirt with some uh, vermiculite mixed in. Not much, but some. And then some of these other ones that I have right here are more compost, a heavier layer of compost on it. So we're gonna check and see how those do compared to each other and if you need to have three of these to get that to work, do I need to have a lid on the bucket? Which is my expectations, I'm gonna need a lid on this bucket. But then the final step after you get these in is you actually need to water the, uh, the plants so that they are, the ground is, is fairly saturated. So it helps to soak in as well. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna slide this bucket a little closer back here so it's more central to all of these plants and then i'll grab my watering can and we'll get that up and going water this all in I'll give it a heavier water than i normally would <laughs> 